in this video i'm gonna tell you how you can score 40 on 40 in your semester 2 examination and how to complete the whole syllabus in 15 days sounds impossible but if you try to plan and you execute the plan every day then you can surely complete this uh, syllabus the mathematics syllabus in 15 days i would also like to tell you about my ebooks that i have launched and there are four to five ebooks let me tell you about a mathematics ebook which has all the chapter wise notes along with all formulas covered then uh, expected practice questions this is an all-in-one ebook which has all the best features there are other ebooks as well like chemistry english language and uh, computer full syllabus so you can buy it from the link in the description box now i'll tell you how you have to start we'll move to the chapters ahead and uh, first i'll tell you the uh, syllabus now reflection it will take one day for you to complete this entire chapter okay then section formula only one day equation of straight line you may take two days sometimes it's uh, flamoxing and you'll not be able to solve and get the equation but you need a lot of practice you will be able to solve it very easily then circles will take two days you have to do all those theorems and practice the questions where you have to find the angles in mensuration only cone and cylinder are in syllabus and this will take two days trigonometry this whole part will take four days and please revise the uh, trigonometric identities and also the angles like 0 30 45 and so on okay you can refer to your ninth class book also for this trigonometry part measures of central ten, uh, tendency this will take two days and probability will hardly take one day now in this part reflection you have to uh, do all the topics okay everything is in syllabus and after you uh, learn all these formulas and the rule to find reflection of point in x axis y axis or origin then you will move on to the examples examples are very important please do not neglect them you have to solve uh, for example there are there are 11 examples try to do all these previous year questions okay this 2014 and this uh, then this 2016 question 2003 make sure that you solve all the previous year questions you do not leave out any of them then we'll move on to exercise part you can solve alternate questions here okay and uh, it's compulsory for you to solve all these previous year questions like 2018 2019 you will uh, see that a lot of questions are repeated in board examination now for section formula there is just one formula and some concept the midpoint formula and the trisection formula the centroid of a triangle do all of them and then again the previous year questions and you can see that uh, they have given the summary this is also very helpful you can revise this summary equation of a straight line and now in this part uh, you'll have to form equations y is equal to mx plus c then y minus y1 equals to m x uh, minus x1 and then two point form this one is very important okay then you will move on to the examples example 12 example 13 example 10 solve all of them and then example 14 as well one suggestion is you will do the examples okay and uh, exercise questions you can do the alternate ones even ones or odd ones examples are very helpful and uh, they are usually asked in your exams then we'll move on to the slope okay for this part you need to know out the parallel lines the slope or parallel lines are same for perpendicular lines the formula is m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 and so on then we have uh, circles you have to do all the theorems i've covered everything in my ebook all the theorems are there so you can also refer to that if you want to purchase it 
all these previous year questions what you can do is uh, make a formula notebook in which you will write all the formulas cover all the theorems and it should be done in a separate notebook so that you can revise it one day before your examination and after uh, you write all those formulas and theorems you'll uh, solve the exercise right you can also test yourself from sample question papers or previous year question paper but at that time you will not refer to the formula notebook you will learn all these formulas and then attempt all these questions i'm talking about the previous year questions now for mensuration only cylinder and uh, cone are in syllabus i'll tell you a very important question that this question question number 20 here they will um, ask you to find the number of lead it may be cylinders or cones because they'll ask you question on cylinder or cone so here it is written sphere but you don't have to do sphere questions you can replace it with cone and then try it out then for trigonometry you have to learn all these uh, trigonometric ratios like sine cos tan and their relations the fundamental identities that's very important when you try out pr uh, proving questions right all these three again previous year questions must be practiced i am emphasizing more on them because i have seen the past year papers and if you analyze them you'll come to know that a lot of questions are from back question papers back year question papers trigonometric uh, ratios of some specific angles okay learn all of them so there is a trick if if you know like you write 0 1 2 3 4 and then divide by 4 and then you will write the under root when you will solve them you will get 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 and these are the angles for uh, 0 30 45 60 90 was this sign past year papers uh, you will not see any question based on trigonometric tables you will refer to uh, these natural tangents cosine they'll provide you this sheet and uh, from here you will find out the angles these trigonometric table questions have never come in board examination but you have to prepare for everything and again heights and distances angle of elevation and angle of depression are the most important thing here practice all these questions now for measures of central tendency you will have to do mean median mode right for uh, ungrouped uh, data as well as group data so you can uh, solve this continuous or discontinuous data with all these formulas you can use either direct method or step deviation method or shortcut method if they have specified that you have to solve this particular question with a uh, step deviation method or shortcut method then you have to use the same method i feel you should go with that method like uh, they have not mentioned which method you should start the question with so you can go with the easiest option for you and yes uh, a lot of students uh, do this calculation error whenever they are solving questions on measures of central tendency so you have to avoid those silly mistakes of calculation histogram is a very important topic here so you have to practice this as well then ujjayi curve you will have to draw it free hand you can try out this question 2009 okay moving on to probability uh, three questions that are important based on coin and then cards dice okay i think it is a very very easy chapter and uh, you can also practice questions question 17 question or uh, 19 question 20 and then try out this one also 12th and 15 29 right and then 33 34 thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt and you want me to make a, a strategy video on any other subject then you can comment thank you